Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and also hit that bell for updates on videos and shenanigans by Smarvy Smarv. Now enjoy the What's video. What's going on guys? Smarvy Smarv, we're back here with another video. And guys, I was just sitting here thinking, you know, about how Arrowverse always finds a way to throw my ships to the side. You know, I can't say too much about Car and Wind. You know, they, they've they always been known as a platonic ship, but I think it could grow into something more. But don't get me started on snowberry guys i mean that, that had potential to be in game and they've just completely thrown that to the side but there's just one more ship and the ship that pretty much started it all that was just completely thrown to the side for a reason i will get to later on in this video and that is lorever so guys Get in on this, man. You know what really bugs me is the fact how these Arrowverse writers sometimes feel the need to go with the comics, and then other times they don't. And then they do it against my better judgment. And I just don't like the fact how when it came to the Elicity fans, they did everything they wanted. But when it came to us Snowberry fans, they, did, they threw us to the side. They didn't even care how we felt. They said, feel every piece of the comics. And what I mean by that is that I'm not an idiot. The only reason Barry and Iris even ended up together is because they're together in the comics. But, you know, so is Laurel and Oliver. And it makes me mad because when it came to the writers, they listened to the Elicity fans when they wanted Oliver and Felicity to be together so bad. But when it came to the Snowberry fans and even some proof of the chemistry between these two they didn't even attempt to listen to us to try to get these two together but you listen to olicity you go against the comics on era but when it came to the flash you were determined not to go against the comics and you did it against my better judgment i mean do you know how mad this really makes me and just like West Allen, I don't have too much of a problem with Olicity. As a matter of fact, I'm not saying they don't have chemistry, but just like West Allen compared to Snowberry, Olicity's chemistry is an ant compared to Lorivers. I'm glad I got that off my chest. I I'm sorry, guys. It's just that watching the previous episode of Arrow and seeing this moment between Oliver and Earth 2 Laurel, the chemistry in this scene just brought back a whole bunch of memories, including when Laura was on her deathbed and she claimed that Oliver was the love of her life, which means she never really lost feelings for him. And I'm not saying that Oliver, you chose the wrong one. I'm just saying this is the woman you thought of when you were stranded on Lee and you. She was your anchor. And I'm not saying that, you know, you made a bad choice, but I just don't see how you couldn't choose her. You two were literally perfect for each other. Am I the only one who thinks this? Now for anyone else who ships these two, I don't know how you would feel about this, but looking at that last scene in the last episode between Earth 2 Laurel and Oliver, you know, I still see a little bit of care between the two, even though it's not Earth 1 Laurel. The whole thing with this doppelganger business, you know, just think about it yourself. If you're looking at a reflection of a former love of your life, or in Laurel's case, the love of your life, you can't fight that. And, you know, people are going to say, oh, Oliver's just taking care of her because he wants to get the job done. I can see the way he looks at her. It's still some care left for Oliver in Laurel's case, you know. So... Call me crazy if you want, but I think there's a chance that I'm not saying these two are going to get together, even though I wouldn't have a problem with that. I'm just saying there could be a case where I see Earth 2 Laurel probably making a move on Oliver, and maybe Oliver just goes along with it and then realize that he's making a mistake or not making a mistake if I have anything to say about it. But just keep a lookout for these two. If we can't get Laurel this may be the next best thing. I've even had a couple questions. People ask me, do I ship Oliver and Earth to Laurel? Um, of course I do. I ship Oliver with any Laurel in the multiverse. So if you were once a Laurel shipper, I don't see why you wouldn't hop on, you know, Oliver possibly being with Earth to Laurel. I mean, I don't see what's the problem about it. So, I mean, come on, guys. I ship him with any Laurel in the multiverse and for everyone saying that Lorever is over 
I mean, is it? It isn't over until the show is done. We have a Laurel, we have a Oliver, and of course, there's chemistry there. So why can't this happen? But guys, I'm not gonna talk a hole in your head. So let me know what you guys thought about this video in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And for more videos about Arrow or any other Arrowverse show, hit that subscribe button. Stay out of trouble, guys.